All right, folks, I did a post about this on Instagram last night, and first of all, um, I did not expect as many likes. I mean, let's be honest here. I feel like when it comes to, you know, Facebook, Instagram, more often than not, people leave a reaction because they see the video, the GIF, the meme, the photo before. For reading the caption, but that that's just me speculating. But regardless, you know, I put the photo, you know, uh, I think it was like the same photo that was on the Murphy's Multiverse article that broke the news of the Zatima spinoff way back when. Uh, well, yeah, over 500 likes. I'm like, holy crap. But regardless, the video I'm doing here is basically talking about how, or should I say why, Zatima is the kind of show that you probably, no, you definitely want to watch while it's streaming as opposed to waiting for it to come to BET. I have no doubt that Zatima will eventually make its way to BET um, like Bro and Ruthless have. And I mean, heck, even the Miss Pat show is coming, but... The Miss Pat Show Season 1, it is a non-Tyler Perry show, so perhaps it, that isn't the best example. But it took a while for Bruh and Ruthless to make it to BET. Well, specifically Bruh, because I believe that um, Ruthless originally started airing before Bruh did, and then Bruh finally made it. But Bruh Season 3 is in, in a few months, and you know, they already got the first two seasons on the streaming platform. So... What I'm saying is this, I know there are people who are disgruntled because, you know, they're excited about the show coming, but they aren't too thrilled about having to pay for yet another streaming service. Netflix, look, to be honest, I haven't had Netflix in forever. Before I renewed my account to watch a Medea Homecoming, my sister said, hey, I got Netflix and I completely forgot. So, you know, my nephew and I watched it on her TV and, um... Apparently, prices have went up. I think like the premium, <laughs> kind of like gas, the premium Netflix or the highest Netflix account is like 20 bucks or something. I remember back in college when Netflix first came out and it was what, like $7.99 or something like that. It was it was really affordable. But yeah, another streaming platform, you know, in the likes of Hulu, Disney Plus, uh, Peacock and Paramount Plus and HBO Max, uh... Yeah, yeah, but BET Plus never really comes up in the conversation. But when it comes to Zatima, the reason I'm saying that you may want to watch it now, you know, well, not now, but when it becomes available is as the go-to person for questions and whatnot about the shows every single day. When is the show coming out? Uh, where does it fit into the continuity of Sisters? I mean, it, does it take place during season four? Does it take place during season five? Are Zach and Fatima going to be absent from Sister Season Five if they're on their Zatima series? Uh, season one is ten episodes, but are we getting all ten episodes at one time, or are we getting one episode per week? It's honestly quite interesting because, well, all the Queen's Men uploaded all 10 episodes at once. I think it was 10 episodes. But it was a Tyler Perry affiliated project, not a Tyler Perry project directly. Because originally, it was Tyler Perry's All the Queen's Men. But then it was like, nah, it's like a Christian Keys thing, so All the Queen's Men. But when it comes to um, Zatima, it is 10 episodes. So I wonder, you know, I feel like there are three possible ways this could go and remember i could be wrong about all this because i'm just guessing option a all 10 episodes are available at one time simple as that you just binge them and that's it option b the show the first week the show drops three episodes at once which is a staple of tyler perry shows on the platform like bruh and ruthless there'll be Three episodes that first week, and then every week after that is one episode. Or option C, we get five episodes. After that fifth episode, which is the mid-season finale, there's a hiatus, and then we wait for the last five episodes. 
I really don't know because Tyler Perry has never released a show with such a short season. I mean, season one of Bruh and Ruthless, I think, were like 25 episodes. And then season two of Ruthless was 19. Yeah, I think Bruh and Ruthless season two, they both had like seasons that were a little under 20 episodes or something like that. But regardless, he did the same thing where it was like, Three episodes the first week, one episode every week after that, go on hiatus the back half of the season, three episodes, and then one per week. With Zatima, I just don't know. I think from a marketing perspective, I don't think we're getting all 10 episodes at one time because if that was if that's the case, most people would sign up for the free trial. They would binge the show and then drop it, you know, like, uh, drop BET plus before they have to pay anything. So I am unclear of how the show is going to operate. But if I were a gambling man, which I sort of am, I would guess that Zatima will not come out until sister season four is complete. I think next week is the mid-season finale of Sister Season 4. The hiatus is, I don't know how long. It could be two weeks. It could be five weeks. But I'm guessing that Season 5 will probably be filmed during either the hiatus or the early stages of Season 4 Part B coming back to BET. And then Zatima will probably come out in late spring or, you know, sometime in June. And then, you know, it will go on probably during that gap between, oh, the season four finale of Sisters is over. So we got a hiatus before season five comes out. And during the hiatus, that's when Zatima comes out. But the reason I say you might want to watch it is because if Zack and Fatima are in season five, I don't know if the events of Zatima will be like, you know, what if it's a situation where, hey, wait a minute. What if Zack and Fatima aren't really in season five that much because they're on their own show? So basically, if Zack and Fatima show up in season five of Sisters, it's them within the continuity timeline of their own show. Let me be honest here. The Oval and Ruthless, the way their timelines are just not consistent at all, that turned me off from trying to calculate things. With Zatima, I will probably try to calculate things because, dang it, I'm so intrigued. But I think that the faster you watch the show, the better, because that might fill in some of the gaps that some people have in terms of questions. But I will say this much. Overall, the more you support, the more we support the show. I'm not talking about watching the show on secondhand websites that will upload them and whatnot. Uh, I think the more people who watch it on the platform, BET+, Plus, the more support Tyler will look at that because remember he made this show for the fans. Hence why it's only 10 episodes. He's like, okay, the team is big, but let me whip together a short season, you know, see uh, kind of a pilot season. Let me see where the people are at with it. Do they feel the characters? Um, you know, do they like it without the sisters cast? What's going on? And if it blows up, then there'll be a season two. And perhaps if it gets bigger, then it may be on BET, the network. I don't know. I'm just speaking things into existence by thinking out loud. But all I have to say is definitely watch the show. I get it. We live in rough times, gas prices, streaming services, you know, here and, you know, everywhere and prices on them fluctuating. But BET plus to my knowledge has been the same in terms of the price. So I would recommend putting a couple dollars away if possible, you know, every week if you can or, you know, pinch your pennies because I think that the sooner we find out when it's going to air, the sooner people can plan accordingly in regards to, okay, now how many episodes are we getting at once? Uh, when is the show coming out? Because I feel like watching this legally is what's going to benefit all Sisters fans in the long run. I mean... Perhaps having this one show blow up could inspire Tyler to do more spinoffs and whatnot. And like I always say, remember, I'm just a fan like everyone else. I'm not getting, you know, um, tapped on the shoulder or emails or anything like that where it's like, hey, you know, if you promote BET Plus or whatever, uh, you know, we're going to cut you, you know, a piece of the pie or give you a free subscription. No, I pay for my own BET Plus subscription. 
Um, I don't get any kind of kickbacks from Tyler Perry Studios or anything. I don't even know anybody at Tyler Perry Studios. So I'm just putting that out there just in case there's a new or person on the channel. It's like, man, how come you're promoting this streaming service? No, I'm not doing that in terms of me benefiting. I feel like we all benefit if the show does well then we might get more. That's all I'm saying. So, of course, I'm going to be doing my reviews and whatnot, but I highly recommend people, you know, watch the show because I can do live streams and we all know what's going on. So, that's really all I had to say in the video. You know, make sure you watch Zatima when it becomes available. Um, And that's really it. So, take a moment to hit the thumbs up button to show you liked the video. Follow me on social media. Links are in the description below. Hit subscribe and hit that bell icon to select all. That way you don't miss out whenever I post content on the channel.